if we could hear from Pippa Butterworth, please. Thank you. Well, I want to first start with sharing some news. I picked up the local paper at the station down in Newport, and I was on the front page. We stopped an incinerator being built, okay? I'm also on page three, but I won't show you this. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I think we should be doing, okay? This is uh, a community. This is, the Green Party gets three mentions in this. This is how we get the word out. Locally, when I joined the local party, well, I can't tell you what happened. I mean, I, I came back from Cuba. I thought, crikey, I know more about Cuban politics than I know about our own. So I went through the Tories and the Labour and the Liberals and everybody, and I got to the Green Party, and I joined up two hours later. Okay, and it was a no-brainer for me. This was the party for me. So, uh, having done that, the next meeting for the local party was cancelled and so was the one after and the general election was coming up so I phoned up the local secretary and I said when's the next meeting because I want to get involved in a campaign for the general election and he said to me well um we haven't got anybody standing in New York I said oh that's a shame because I've got no sort of election experience I'd love to help somebody he said well perhaps you'd like to stand so I said uh I hadn't really thought about it that way he said, well, you haven't got much time to think about it because the nominations close tomorrow. <laughs> and thus I was catapulted into the Green Party. And I've been having lots of fun with it. But, you know, that's just the light side. I mean, the, there is a very real concern in my head. When the IPCC say we may have only ten years left to reverse the climate change trend. I'm pretty scared, but I'm scared to action, okay? And I believe we should be working at grassroots level everywhere. We've got to grow the membership, but more than that, we have to get people to understand what we're talking about and our messaging is being lost on people. I'm at the moment trying to produce an idiot's guide to the Green Party. Because we talk to each other. We even social network together more with each other than with non-greens. We know where we're coming from. But the rest of them don't. So it's the non-greens and the non-voters we have to try to communicate with. And that means simply simplifying the message right now. Not policy. It means this is a real life situation. What can we do about it? Why is it important? I mean, it's getting these kind of things down and straight. <coughs> I led my first protest march at the age of 10. Um, I was a sporty girl, and at school, the boys had the school field five days a week, and the girls never had it. And I had a first lesson. I arranged <coughs> the girls, and the boys joined in too, to march around school protesting and saying we want the field we want the field and um and as i was on the mat afterwards being caned um the headmaster said to me we did get caned i mean let's you know the headmaster was right we didn't we never said anything to our parents um he said why didn't you ask me first and that was my lesson sort it out from the inside if at all possible Whatever your issues are, sort it out from the inside. Work with everybody. We worked with all the local councillors, Tory, Labour, Lib Dems, Independents. We worked with them all to get this result. This was why we got this result, because we didn't work against them. We worked with them, and they worked with us. So that was an early lesson for me. Now, um, I'm a green that comes with a slightly different... Sorry, have you already not? Yeah. I, I was carried away. I'm not going to next one. Okay, please. If you, if you could, if you could I'll just program. wind up quickly. I want to say I come from a slightly different background. I've been in business nearly all of my life. We've never had a business group in the Green Party. We've got to learn to talk to businesses. We've got to learn to talk to lots of people we've never previously spoken with. Thank you.